Well, smash that like button if you woke up this morning. We'll bust down Tatiana. Yeah, Sarah, okay? Uh, this is takashi 69s ex. She's, like, trying to get attention again. She's back after the Vlad interviews. And now she's trying to troll Blueface in WAC 100, trying to get on that team now. She, she wants to be with the new... I couldn't call Blueface the new 6ix9ine yet, but he's the new uh, phenomenon, okay? I can't call him the new 6ix9ine because that's kind of disrespectful at this point, what's happening with 6ix9ine. But what I will say is he's the new it guy for 2019, okay? Takashi 6ix9ine was the guy for 2018. And, and also, he, this guy has a lot of uh, issues himself, okay? So we don't know if he's going to make it through that. I hope he does. I hope he makes it through the end of 2019. But he's got so many charges going on. Then... We also got Punch, DJ Punch, who was uh, Takashi's DJ. We also know him from, uh, you know, uh, Young Young M.A. or Young Ma, whatever you want to call her. Uh, then he, he, you know, he's been, in, in, he's a DJ. He's been influential in a lot of New York up and coming artists. And, you know, he he worked with This Is 50 for a while. I don't know if he still does, but uh, he reacts to Takashi 69 allegedly, you know, talking, talking to the feds. And then we also got uh, McGregor. Retiring? I, I doubt it. And Khabib reacts. Uh, let's get into this. Jordan Tower with JT News. Good vibes, gang. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And uh, also, guys, if you want to run ads in the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so um, let's start with uh, let's start with Sarah. Sarah's trying to, you know, we saw her on live with Blueface a couple months ago. Now she's, you know... Trying to get his attention, you know, with the Tatiana thing, you know? I always say you made Tatiana big because cause it was out for a year. Then you played in one on your live and everyone went and checked it out. Then that's... Let me tell you something. I They want to say... They want to call anybody a Tatiana. I'm about to trademark that shit. Hey, cuz that's all I see under my comments on Instagram. Tatiana, bust down, bust down, blah, 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 blah. Blue face need to cut me that and check. Cause ain't nobody getting that more than me under their pictures. Let him know. Yo, someone get in contact with WAC 100, Blueface, tell him I want that cut, that check cut. I would have been in the video too if they would have paid me. And I'm not doing no whole but you know. I don't know I because. I mean, allegedly, she slept with Shadi, man, and that's what let the, the whole, uh, she took down a whole organization with one night of lust. Um, but anyways, I, it's like, come on, you know, I'm, I'm getting, she's like this female version of 6 9 trying to get attention. Let's be honest here, guys. I mean, are we here for that? Then DJ Punch, uh, he was around 6ix9ine a lot he's more of a level-headed guy so it was a uh, it was actually a good thing for 6ix9ine to be puncher i don't know punch but just from hearing him speak and everything he seems more neutral and uh was trying to neutralize the situation but it was well far beyond what he had knowledge of he didn't know about all obviously or didn't want to know about all this i wouldn't want to know about it either it's none of my business if we're doing music together I don't want to know everything else that's going on, you know, with the train nine, all that stuff, whatever, the, whatever the, whatever bloods they are, you know, it's like nine tray blood. Sorry about that. It's, it's just like you don't want to be involved in that. He's doing music, right? But he, there was a lot of other stuff going on that he tried to, you know, simmer down, and it just got way out of control. And he said, you know, he did. He he told his story. You know, he told his story. Uh, I would have done the same thing. He told his story, so it's out there. The truth is out there, from his mouth, and not people talking. And uh, so he set the record straight on a lot of stuff. And he also added that he would be disgusted if the rumors were true or what looks like to be true on the documents that Six Nine is telling. I mean, he can't. He said exactly what everybody, you know, once you sign up for something, that's what it is. Granted, yeah, all these guys went against Six Nine and everything, and you want to take them out. But also, it's like, dude, you knew what you were getting into, you know. And then once you denounce them, they're gonna spank you, you know. And that's what was happening. Plus, Shoddy, you shouldn't have let him around your girl, man. You got to keep family and business separate, you know. And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes they co-mingle, but he could have easily, once he got some money, 
separated the whole thing, moved her out to Connecticut or something or somewhere else and, uh, you know, switch things up. But, uh, you know, Punch had a good, it was interesting to see his perspective on the whole issue and also uh, get his side of the story. Um, then lastly, we got Conor McGregor announcing his retirement on Twitter. He says, hey guys, quick announcement. I've, I've decided to retire from the sport formerly known as MMA today. I wish all my old colleagues well going forward in competition. I now join my former partners on this venture already in retirement. Uh, Proper pina coladas on me, fellas. I have decided to retire young. Thanks for the cheese. (laughs) Catch you later. Then Khabib responded, hey, there can only be one king of the jungle or something like that. I was like, all right, cool. Anyways, I don't believe him. It's just trying to drum up some uh, some controversy. This is George Tower with JT News. Smash that like button, guys. Good vibes, gang. I'll check you on the next one.